Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So clearing your browsing data in your web browser from time to time is a good idea because it is important for privacy and security and also just decreasing the size of the actually the cache, the actual images and files that are kept um, on your device for that actual individual web browser. And if you are concerned about um, privacy or security, or maybe just want to get rid of all the clutter after every session, then just to show you how you can actually automate the process and how to delete your browsing history and data automatically in the browsers we feature on this channel, which are kind of your most of your mainstream web browsers, if you would be interested. Now, the process to do this in Google Chrome is a little bit in depth. It's not as easy as an example as in Brave. So in Google Chrome, how you would automate the process to, to, to delete your browsing history automatically, um, as an example, when you close the browser, is you would have to head to your main menu, head to settings. On the settings page, navigate to privacy and security. Scroll down, click on site settings. So if Google have buried this quite deep into the actual browser. And then scroll down to where you see additional permissions. And then scroll down once again, and yeah, you'll see additional content settings. And if we scroll down once again, you can see uh, on device site data. Sites can save data on your device. And you change it from allow sites to save data on your device to delete data sites have saved to your device when you close all windows. And just take note though, it says sites will probably work as you expect, but won't remember you after you close all Chrome windows. So just take note of that. So that's how you can do it um, in Google Chrome. In Chrome, it's been buried quite deep into the actual browser settings. Then if you are using Brave, I actually found Brave to be the easiest. So if we just head over to Brave and we head to the main menu and we head to delete browsing data, there we go, on exit. And you can then choose the different uh, components, history, download history, cookies, cached images and files. You can just adjust that to your own personal choice and preference. And there we go. When you exit the browser, whatever you have selected will be cleared from your history. So I actually think Brave is the easiest out of all the, all the actual browsers when it comes to deleting that history automatically. And then uh, moving on to Microsoft Edge. And for Edge, once again, we head to our main menu, Settings. We head over to Privacy Search and Services. And we scroll down to Delete Browsing Data. And yeah, you click on Choose What to Clear every time you close the browser. And once again, very similar to Brave, you can toggle on any of these different components, history, autofill site permissions, cached images and files and so on to your own personal choice. And then every time uh, you close the browser, that data and that history will be cleared from Microsoft Edge. And then moving on to Firefox, which is the only non-Chromium browser we talk about um, mostly on this channel. And for this one, once again, we head to our main menu, Settings, Privacy and Security, and then scroll down to where you get Cookies and Site Data, and then it says you click on Delete Cookies and Site Data when Firefox is closed. And you can manage that data and you can also um, manage exceptions. But if you want to delete all that data, when Firefox is closed, you just toggle that setting on, and I think that would be the simplest to do. And then heading out of Firefox, and lastly, to Vivaldi, last but not least, in Vivaldi, it's also a little bit different um, once again. And for Vivaldi, we head up to our main menu, and we head to our settings, and in the settings, we head to privacy and security. And now you'll see safe browsing history. And then what you want to do is just set it to session only. And then you'll have to restart um, your browser, obviously, to apply that. And that's how you do it in Vivaldi. So just a quick, just a quick overview as to how you can uh, delete your browsing history automatically in some of those mainstream web browsers, um, which obviously, um, if you are concerned about privacy and security, is important in that regard. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.